All right, well, this is what we've got so far with the med kit, uh, based off the other med kit that I did a while back. And um, this is what I've, well, this is what I've got going. All right, I've basically done the case. And uh, let's just actually take this and uh, scale it back a little bit. Okay. So what I think I'm going to do now is uh, model a couple of the um, couple of the parts that are going to go inside this. So we've got some images uh, from the internet, and I'm going to uh, I think maybe I'll do this this pill case here. So let's come up to another layer. And go front view. Shift as cursor to center, and I'm going to put this an image in the background. Oops, I don't want to do that. Use that one. That's not bad. I think actually that's fine for what I want to do. And so the way I'm going to do this is add a plane, rotate X90. And now as I look at it, I see uh, it's not quite centered actually. So I will, I will move this over a bit. Now that's actually, that's, that's going to be fine. Okay, so I'll go into the, into the plane. Merge all the points in the center. Come up to the roughly to the top. Now this is not straight on this image, so I'm going to start right there. And I am going to go E and G in the X direction. Come over to here. E G. Oops. E G. Come down here. I'll say in the uh, Z direction. I'll do a bit of a rounded part, so I'll come down to here, and then I'm just going to go E G X. I bring it back to that point. Grab those two points. Open up the side, and make sure these are both zeroed. And now. Profile. I'm going to add the use the screw modifier like that, and I'm going to add a subdivision surface of two. Put back into here, and I think I'll uh, delete this point. Go ahead and apply. Oops. Apply that. I guess I will add solidify, bring it above, and just bring it up a little bit, apply that. So that's, uh, yeah, that's going to be the cap. be all right I hope uh, there we go front view and now I will continue another plane rotate 
rotate X90. Even really need the solidify on there because the cap will be there. Just make sure all my polys are facing it out. Huh. Well, maybe I did make this a bit small. Let's hide this again. Let's have another look at this. All right, maybe I will make it a bit bigger. Uh, scale shift Z. No, not both of them. Just this piece. That piece. Scale shift Z. and hit I twice. Uh, 
while. Um, so curiosity, what happens if I do uh, check or deselect here? Does that? Eh? You know what? I want to mess around with that. I like that pattern. I just want to see what it would look like. If I did that, I just want to see. Okay. Very ugly. So we're not going to do that. And we're not going to do that. So we're going to come back to this. And we are going to. What are we going to do? What if I subdivide that? Reasonable. Extrude just a little bit. Sharpen that up there. Sharpen it up here. And another row. It's a really weird pill container. Might look alright though. Well, I also find it's it's too it's too long. If I do that, let's just give it a try. And bring it back here and see what it looks like. Small. But that's humongous. You know, I have an idea. Alright, I'm just messing around here. My idea is... Oh yeah, alright, well, let me get rid of that uh, background image for now. My idea is this. is get rid of all that let me just see where I'm at how much I've damaged it all right okay all right and then scale it to Z and then just find that just put a face on it just for now okay it doesn't it doesn't necessarily look good Actually, no, 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 not that. Grab, uh, grab that. Extrude it first, and then put a face on it. Okay. Come in here. Do that. No one's gonna see. And then uh, bring this back. Drop it on there, and I think I like that better than the two rows. but it's obviously it's got some issues um, although does it really
be just fine. I wonder if I can put one more in though, if it would matter. Or actually, can I put one up here, or do I have to do it individually? I don't have to do it individually. I just want to see if that does anything nice, or... Nope. Okay, here we go. So now what we'll do is let's work in this layer, top down. Let's bring in another image, background image, that image, open, reference, med kit, and what to do. Maybe we'll try the scissors, see if these scissors are okay. Okay, and so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to trace these. Shift A, plane. Uh, let's go in. Uh, vertex, collapse them, center. And I am just going to position this and roughly trace the outline of this. Okay, so B e and G, B e and G, It'd probably be a lot of points. It doesn't have to be perfect, they're going to be pretty small scissors. mind you afterwards I could obviously take more time but So there's one, one half of those. So I'm gonna go. I have to give it a face, and I will. Uh, I guess I'm gonna extrude these right now. E, 
and bring it up a little ways. You know, like that. Cool. Okay, let's uh, go to wireframe now and uh, let's add another. Well, actually, let's just. Uh, what happens if I add a circle? How much, how close to a circle can I get this? Uh, scale in the Y. Scale in the X. No, I don't think I'm going to do it this way. I think I'm going to bring in a plane again and collapse the vertices there. Bring this over and actually trace it out. I think so. Anyhow, I'm not sure that that's what I want to do, but let's start and give it a try. enough a face extrude this a little bit actually as much as I want okay so now uh, have I lost my other piece did I hit uh, did I hide it or something what did I do somehow move that to another there how did I do that I don't know Okay, so that would be there. Bring back this. I'll punch that through. And I'll do um, apply rotation and scale first. Let's see if I can do a Boolean on this. Okay, so I get that. I'm gonna, maybe I'll just hide that. I might be using that again. Okay, so now let's look down here and boom, 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 boom. I'm just wondering if uh, if I can just use these again. No chance I can do that, is there? Uh, and then uh, what am I doing? The rotate X. Rotate X 180. In fact, I might just be doing that. I might be satisfied to just to just do that because to be viewed so from so far far away, uh, I may not need any more than that. But in the meantime, let me see uh, if it's at all possible for me to. Uh, bevel this uh, uh, relatively nicely. I don't want that. I just want all the all the outside. Well, let's get it. Give it a try. Put one segment in. See if I messed up anything. That looks okay, actually. Do the same on this one. I 
I may not have got this part up for that one, but it's the underside, so it may not matter. I'll give it a try anyhow. I may know I'm missing some here. Again, from such a distance, it may not be very visible. So that's kind of how I would do those. But I'll do the uh, I'll do the screw as well. small screw bevel this back just like that and I could get rid of the underside I suppose See if I can do a boolean straight off. I think I can. Yep. Just like that. Update, bring anything else back, like that thing. Get rid of it. Is the cube? Yeah, get rid of the cube. I'll join those together. And those would be my scissors. Let's move those back. I know they're going to be humongous. thicker but uh, that's basically how they would go I'll make a copy and rotate them and uh, thicken them and we'll just get a sense of what that's like Cool, we got a pair of scissors. I think those don't look too bad. If I took these, and I copied them and I brought them up over to here. Um, I want to rotate them. Oh boy, rotate x90. Uh, minus 90. Ah, geez, no, I don't want to do that. Rotate y90. Where's the bolt? Bolt's on that side. Rotate Z. I don't know if it's minus 90 or 90. You know, that kind of thing. And then rotate in the X. I'll switch this to normal. Roll the wireframe. I can never tell. 
know if that's the if that's the background or I know it's not. Doesn't matter. Yeah, they're still they're still too big. Are they? I don't know. That's the that's the general idea anyhow. Maybe these ones could still be thickened. Uh, scale in the Z, is it? No, eh? Scale in the Y? No. Yeah, it's going to be a tough time. I'm not going to not going to thicken them at this point. I just wanted to see what they look like up there. I'll use these ones. Thing. Okay, but that's how I would do that, and then we would move on and do some more. And so, what's next? I'd like to work on this here. This uh, this ocular syringe it looks like here, but I think they're often dental syringes. But I don't think I want that one. You know, this kind of one. Okay, it's pretty darn small, but look, you know, kind of like this one. Okay, so um, that is pretty small. That's that's and this one's got some text on it, but I think I'll think I'll use this one as a, as a quick guide anyhow. Okay, so. Uh, once again, we'll go to uh, another layer, and I'll do top top view, and I'll get rid of that one, but I'll bring in another one, and it just goes like that. Just keep going. This one. Uh, what's that one like? I don't know. Uh, there it is. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and I uh, don't need to center it or anything. I'm just going to just go for it. Okay, and the way I'll do this, actually, I might have to center it. Yeah, this is not the way I want to do it. I take it all back. I want to rotate this. I want to flip it. Uh, is this what I want to do 90? Yes, that's exactly what I want to do. And that's, I think, close enough uh, for the center. Okay, I'm just going to do this quick anyhow. Let's put that there. I'm going to just go for it. It's, it's going to be very quick. Okay, so EG, EG, EG. Going to be using a subdivision surface and a screw modifier, so I'm going to go relatively quick. Ooh, that's not what I want. I'm using the top down. Eh? Okay, uh, G's, uh, GZ. What's going on? Okay, G. Okay, just playing games with me now. can't exactly see what happens here so I'm just going to make it up a little bit uh, I'm going to skip that I can't see because of the words those are my bearing a little bit but I think it comes down into here it doesn't matter I'm, I'm just doing what I want to do I'll come up to here I'll do some stuff with that maybe come back down here I don't know what's going on, and uh, I'm just going to start ending the thing. How about that? You know, like this. And I'll add that piece. And then we'll come back. 
I'm already on the on the X line, aren't I? Okay, okay, uh, yeah. So what I'll do is I'm gonna get rid of that vertex. I'm gonna see what's going on with these. I'm gonna bring these out, and then this one I'll bring to X. Okay, good enough. We'll give that a try. We'll see if we get a cool instrument or what. Select the first and last point. Zero them. Why exactly did that happen? Jeez, uh, because I'm doing it in another orientation. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to bring them back to a certain point. And we'll see if I have caused a big problem or not. Okay, it's all right, it's all right. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna do that yet. Um, I did it from the top perspective. Let that be a lesson to me. I'm gonna try to uh, rotate X 90. And I'm going to see if I can do something here. Oh, it's still doing that, isn't it? Okay, that's... Uh, what a mess. If I crossed over my the line, is that what I've done? Oh, yeah, that's what I've done. Okay, um, that's all right. That's what I want. Something along that line. Okay. So, you know, stuff like that happens. And uh, I'm going to apply. Uh, I actually, I'm also going to add a subdivision surface of two. And I'm going to apply that. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to mess around with it. Hopefully it'll still look good. I think it will. Let's get some sharp edges on this thing. some liberties and making it into the instrument that I would want it to be. feed my daughter in a moment but I will be back with more uh, we'll have a look and I'll, I'll I'll fix this up even more but that's uh, start starting start to look starting to look nice not sure what's going on down here let's uh, just have a quick look before we take a break and I'll just I'll do something like this Okay, 
more can be done more can be done on that to to uh, fix it up but for the moment it's not looking too bad except for there I think I'm just going to get rid of these. Put it in there. I might do something like that too. I'll, I'll stick a needle coming out of there and actually might uh, inset this a little bit. Like I said, I gotta go uh, run and do something, but uh, I'll be back. Let's work on this some more. Again, it's such a you know a small instrument. Uh, it's uh, you're not we're not gonna see any of this detail, really, any of it. So um, okay, I'll. Uh, I'll be back to work on this uh, in a little bit. I'm just going to reposition this a little bit and not worry about making the exact item. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in a circle. We'll rotate X90. And scale it down a bit. Just like that, I'll go in, give it a face, and uh, we'll uh, extrude this. Let's go that way. All right, and then uh, let's make sure all the normals are facing out. We'll grab both of those surfaces. Let's come back wireframe and uh, I'm going to insert just like that and I'm going to control E bridge edge loops there we go there it goes okay and I'll uh, let's see if I can ah, stop that I'm not sure that it's all that necessary to bevel all these edges but I think I'll, I'll give it a try anyhow We got an issue over here. What's going on? Why is it doing that? What am I not seeing? Oh, I got an extra. Maybe I'll just do those in the inner ones first. No, it doesn't, it doesn't like it. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, so I'll just. Uh, Let's do, actually let's uh, let's do that. Let's, uh, let's try this. Mm, yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I can just smooth it. But what's the something funny is going on? But I don't really care because it's not that it's not that critical. Okay, so we'll have uh, we'll have that, and then. Uh, Let's, uh, let's move this downwards. Like this, something like that. Let's come back to this. And then I think what I'll do is... Um, uh, I'm 
just going to add a cube. Do it this way. Yeah, I'm a little screwed up with my centering. It's a shame. Uh, but that's okay. Let's get through this one. Uh, we won't do it like this again, will we? No, we won't. Scale in the Y. little piece will just hold that. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to join these together. And uh, I'll just make sure all my polys are facing in the right direction. Okay, and uh, let's look at this. Let's do, it's going to do another one. Shift D. Uh, I want to rotate it. Rotate Z 180. I'll bring out another one there. Let me just make sure though that's there. Yeah, that's okay. You know, that kind of thing. And there's, I'll, I'll do one more. Just, yeah, why not? Shift D. Um, rotate Y90. Yeah, that's good. I'll bring that into place down here. to apply that first. Uh, maybe this is bugging me, I don't know. Okay, let's join these. Did I do control K or did I do control J? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, all right, so I, I have that. That's, that's fine. Looks cool. Um, Anything with this? I don't think I need to do anything else. That's too crazy. Um, what's the tip of this looking like? Yeah, it's a bit crazy now that I now that I applied that. But uh, let's see what happens if I. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do it that way. I'm just gonna do a separate uh, separate piece. I should I should select that though. No, no, I'll do a vertex. Let's do like something there. Shift S, cursor is selected. And I will uh, bring in a circle. No, I'll bring a cylinder. Let's scale it down. Sort of making the, uh, like the needle part of this. There we go, like that. So I'll do that. Down. 
And there we go. Cool. All right, so we're building up the equipment inside there. Looks good. Whatever it is. <laughs> and um, yeah, we could uh, we could try to make a band aid or some couple of cuts in this in this image. I get rid of these. And this I've got these things that are like band aids. I didn't really know what I was doing. I just just made something, so we could do that. So. Uh, an idea for a band-aid I could take another one and um, move it to another layer so we can work on it and um, I don't know can I still cut through Pretty small. That could be even a smaller one. Okay. There we go. What's next? We're gonna need to make the forceps and we're gonna need to make the scalpel. I don't think I'm gonna make the uh, stethoscope. I might make this little case here. Okay. I think what I'll do in the meantime though is copy this and bring it up. It's 
not a bad angle. continue we'll do some uh, some forceps or something like that time wise <laughs> getting pretty getting on there so uh, what do we got for forceps I may not have anything uh, that really works well yeah I think I was gonna trace over these ones I guess exactly what we're going to do um, come to a new layer uh, move from the top small detail so quick care about rounding these out more. If I did, I would just put another point and move it around. That's not going to be visible at all. So. Okay, so let's come out of there. Let's do this. Uh, that. Bead extrude. those faces and uh, bevel one segment so far so good yep now um, wireframe um, 
I'll just do a cube. the same but I don't care I just I just need the design right I'll just do I'm just gonna do it like that I think I'll apply that that's fine let's go ahead and try this This is made of two pieces, so let me try this rotate X one eighty. Yeah, I'm having some a few issues. What if I had this? And then that's not what I want to do yet. That is not what I want to do yet. Well, there we go, that's better. Let's have a look at this. Let me get rid of that. Okay. Um, a couple of different ways I could do this. Let's uh, hide this background image. I think what I'm going to do... just do that if I just do that and then I copy it shift D uh, rotate X 180 uh, what do I get that's what I'm talking about You know, this kind of thing. That's not very much, is it? Does it really matter? You know, unless I do more. From there too. Let's let's just do that. All right. forceps okay those are my forceps you know and they're huge so they're not going to be very visible once again it's just a prop I might even scale them in the axe like this a bit so they're a bit fatter but shorter Oh, 
Okay, well, I'll take a pair of these, and I will um, um, rotate Z90, minus 90, actually, and bring them up. Rotate in the X, and just get it started here. There we go. Another piece of equipment. All right. So I think I'll uh, take a break at that point and we'll be back with more uh, sometime soon. Thank you.